Hey, what's up everybody? Marlon Lad here. Um, so today got some disturbing news about, I don't know if you've heard about this, but on the movie, the Western film Rust with Alec Baldwin, uh, Helena Hutchins, the DP, was shot and killed by a prop gun. And Joe Souza, who is the director of the film, uh, he was also wounded. Um, so it's very sad and very tragic news. I just wanted to chime in on that. I really don't know everything that happened. Uh, it was supposed to be a prop gun. So based on my experience, like if you have ever done a film and you use weapons, like sometimes you use weapons with blanks. And so blanks are dangerous. If you get too close to a gun that has a blank and you get shot with it, you can die. Um, we have seen tragic occurrences happen in films before, like Brandon Lee was uh, shot with a gun on the set. There was actually a real bullet in that gun. I don't know the details of how that bullet got in there. But, you know, if you're going to be safe on the set, there shouldn't be any real bullets there. Uh, but before you fire any kind of weapon or anything like that, like it needs to be checked. But when you're using blanks, it's been my experience that, uh, you know, they're still dangerous. Any gun that you have on the set, you're supposed to treat like a real gun. So you don't point that gun at anybody. And so even if you have blanks and you're shooting in the scene, like the barrel of that gun should not be pointed at anybody, okay? And especially if it's, you know, within like six to 12 feet, like don't even do that. Now, uh, a lot of guns uh, that are used today in film, like they have the blank, but there's no projectile that comes out of it those are supposed to be the safest guns to use uh, also if you're an independent filmmaker like you can use the airsoft guns that actually recoil um, and sometimes they have uh, projectiles that come out like um, a bullet casing coming out the side but nothing is coming out of the front but i don't care even if you're using that like you shouldn't be pointing that gun at anybody okay and if you are pointing that gun at somebody where you have a scene where you're just supposed to be holding the gun pointing at them or whatever the case may be that needs to be checked and double checked and triple checked and there needs to be nothing in that weapon like period and it's unfortunate that this happened um it, it's just a very sad situation um she was married and had a son and so like now, that's just devastating. She's doing, living out her dream and this happens. Like how tragic is that? So, um, you know, I just wanted to chime in and, you know, just kind of talk about the things that you should do on set to be safe. This is a big time Hollywood movie. And if this can happen to somebody on a big time Hollywood film, imagine what's going on with independent films where people are trying to cut corners and stuff like that. So I just want to say, like, always make sure that you are being safe on set. Treat every gun like it is a real gun and you don't point the barrel of that weapon at anyone, especially if there is anything in it. OK, so in films, like even if you have a scene where you're like shooting at somebody and there's a blank or whatever, like you still don't point the gun at them because there's trickery with the camera. So all you have to do is point the gun in the direction and move the gun to the side you know you use camera tricks to make it seem like you're pointing that weapon at that person okay and you're actually not so one of the films that i'm working on is called the deal and we had a wide shot where somebody was shooting an ar-15 and a shotgun at um three of the actors that were running okay so even though they were far apart we still did not have any of those barrels pointing at the people that were running Okay, and that's just to be safe. So if you're an independent filmmaker or you're doing low budget films or whatever the case may be, just let this be a lesson to not cut corners. And my heart goes out to Helena Hutchins and her family and Alec Baldwin apparently was the one that, that had the weapon and we don't know all the details of that yet. And I'm sure he's suffering as well. Can you imagine an accident like that occurring where you killed somebody? So anyway, just thought I'd chime in on that. Um, this kind of hit my heart real strong. So y'all be safe out there. Till next time, I am glad.